Hello everybody, I know here, and welcome to the whole weekly vlog thing I do. For some reason, I don't know. I'm just rolling with it at this point. Anyway, first and foremost, uh, two, su two new subscribers, Echo and Michael... Hang on. Ana Anastasiadis? I think that's how you say it. That's how it looks like it's pronounced. So, sorry if I got that wrong, but welcome! Echo and Michael, we'll go with Michael, to my channel. Thank you for subscribing. I'm thinking I'm worth subscribing to. Hopefully you guys enjoy the videos and all that. Second order of business, you probably noticed I'm wearing a retardedly orange shirt. It is safety orange, and as for why, I don't know. It's just the shirt that my wife grabbed for me. So, yeah, it's super orange. But it's okay, because I have a kitty. Her name is Maru. He my buddy. Yeah, she she's a, a stray that was wandering around our house, and I took her in because she was lonely. So moving away from that stuff, um, I know I said this like last week or the week before. I can't remember. Probably both. <laughs> I'm running out of ideas of what to play. I don't want to sit there and play a game I'm not going to have fun with. Because then, the like, even though my videos are probably subpar anyway, this one will be even worse if I just sit there and play a random game just to play it. Uh, which is why I played a lot of indie games last week. They were kind of interesting and stuff like that. So, I mean, I still have a couple of them that I can play. But, like, there's a game out there that I want to play. But to be honest, I have no idea what that game is. None at all. I wish I had a capture card so that way I could, like, record console gameplay and upload that. Because I do play a lot on the console, the PS4 that we have here. Uh, a lot of Destiny, and I've been playing some Kingdom Hearts. Uh, the first uh, collection he won that they released for the PS3. But yeah, that would make things easier. Because then I could post videos of games I play on the console instead of just games I play on the computer. Speaking of video games, the Battlefield 1 trailer, yeah, Battlefield 1, that's kind of weird. Uh, the Battlefield 1 trailer came out and it looks okay. I'm surprised I went with World War 1, but hey, maybe final, maybe their planes, or their jets rather, will finally be pilotable. Because for some f because for some reason, I cannot fly their planes. In every battlefield I have ever tried, I am completely useless when you put me in a jet. And a helicopter. Ground vehicles are okay. So are boats. But anything in the air... Unless you want me to intentionally blow it up, don't put me in the driver's seat. Especially a ha attack helicopter, I, I don't know. I think it's the whole dual joystick thing, because, like, I played games where, like, the flight mechanic is controlled by one joystick, which makes sense because, as far as I know, in a, the real cockpit of an airplane, it's one joystick, not two. But that got me thinking, you know, because a lot of people have been slamming the new Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, and, you know, I don't know much about it, but... It's another Call of Duty game, so... But the thing that, like, I find ridiculous is that they're bundling it with the Modern Warfare Remastered game, which is probably with the one that everyone wants. Everyone wants Modern Warfare Remastered. Nobody really wants Infinite Warfare, <laughs> if the uh, like-to-dislike ratio is any indication. I'm hoping that, not this year, because obviously they're bundling it with Modern Warfare Remastered, I'm hoping that this is the year, this is the turning point where Call of Duty, Call of Duty, not Studi, uh, Call of Duty starts to die. It's a fun game. I enjoy playing it from time to time. I really do. But I think doing it every year is just, it's just a bad idea. So to be honest, I hope that it dies next year, or at least starts to die next year, because then maybe they'll sit there and they'll look back, or they'll sit back and they'll be like, okay, Maybe every year is a bad idea. Maybe we'll do it every other year. I'd be okay with a Call of Duty game every other year because then we'd be able to actually sit there and play the game and its DLC and enjoy it for more than a few months before the next one is released or announced and all that shit. And it's just... It's stupid. It's stupid. A hundred, like 90 to to $100 every goddamn year for the same fucking game? No. Every other year, better. 
but you know. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. There's not much else I can talk about because there's not much else I want to talk about and can talk about and can think to, of to talk about. So go ahead and leave a like or share it with a friend if you enjoyed this video or whatever, I guess. Um, or you can leave a comment down below for anything else you'd like to see me play, do, or draw. Please leave me a... Please let me know what you want me to play. I'm ready to give ideas. Um, also, let me know what you think about the whole Call of Duty uh, Infinite Warfare versus Battlefield 1 thing. I know a lot of people are probably going to... Like, there's a lot of people for both sides, but a lot of people are probably just buying Infinite Warfare just to get the remastered version of uh, Modern Warfare. So... I don't know. But let me know what you think uh, about the two games and all that. Anyway, thanks a whole bunch for watching the video, and I will see you in the next vid video. Ugh. That threw me off for some reason. <laughs> Later.